This summer is do or die. For us, we believe we're on the verge of doing something special with this whole basketball thing. But we're not the only ones putting our heart and soul into it. For these guys, they're going to college in the next month or two, getting their education paid for with basketball. But basketball is a cold business, so they've got to be ready. And they're up for that task, more than almost anyone I've ever seen. So we'll just take you through what a day looks like this summer for us. You may be surprised with a few things, a few may look familiar. Every single thing this summer has been envisioned. Now it's just time to execute. So first thing in the morning, better go get some drill work in. Just get off the court a little bit, focus purely on acceleration mechanics. And really just movement skills in general, lateral movement, etc. And also just gives you a break from being being on the floor, basketball court, mentally and physically. It's good to just get a break in. Use another type of workout at some point. Could have just sprinted over this jump <laughs> in a leap. Be very blown when you find out how we hopped it. Make sure you still get stuck though. Nah, my shit. When you're really working towards that vision, it can become a grind. So even these early morning workouts, you have to make them enjoyable sometimes. Damn. My man just kicked this out. Nah, we'll get on that field though. People only work harder when they enjoy the process. You can't be late walking slow, Slim. Oh, uh, hurry up, get changed. Really get changed, get changed, come on. And especially as Jalen and Dave are about to go into the grind of college hoops, it's important to make them as fun for them as possible while still getting that same work. That should look you like funny as shit, bro. <laughs> But when it's time to get intense, we don't play games either. And you'll see that throughout this video. Okay, last step right here. You're gonna come forward right here, make sure you get like we're gonna make a ton of strides in the weight room, especially with these guys specifically. So we make sure everything is executed perfectly. And the mindset is 100% set here. We're really trying to be innovative here. Give everyone we work with that personalized focus that they need. Because no two athletes are the same. ourselves on is trying new things, pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone, both mentally and physically. About to get some yoga and some down dog yoga. <laughs> About to be very drippy, very sweaty. A little pool of sweat underneath you. It's pretty difficult. Not for the meeting. Yeah, not you for thank you. Yeah, not for <laughs> a lot of Ubers will be like, oh, and nah, I yoga. Yoga is for, for girls and stuff. Yoga. For, okay. We've been doing it like twice a week. And it's just like a whole different type of experience. It's way different than being on the court, working out on the weight room. It's just so much more of a challenge. That's really what we're aiming to do, is just challenge ourselves in as many ways as possible. And you'll see after we get out of this, in about one hour, you'll see why it's such a challenge. Yes, that's from one hour of yoga. Try it out, it's worth it, I promise. So then we get back with these bums. It's really tough to get in gym sometimes, but we get it any way we can. Every workout has a different focus, so we really just want to nail down a few things every time. Yeah, exactly. Both Jalen and Dev are going to be ball handlers at the next level. Guys, they need to put the ball in the bucket. We're just trying to give them some strategies and perfect some go-to moves that they can rely on. Yeah, 
bunch of shots, trying to get shit smooth. Shit consistent again. Probably season gonna be crazy. Then we'll eat, edit some film, plan for a little bit for these online workout programs we got coming soon. And then get out and about in that basketball scene in the area, get some film. And we then down the Berry Farms to go and check out the scene down there. It's always a good scene. And while we're in that famous DC traffic, we gotta plan the workout for tonight too. Let's come with the structure and then we'll come with the detail. Should we do like a, a shooting off the dribble series? Yeah, man. So we just drove all the way out to Berry, Berry Farms. It was about like an hour drive with all this traffic. And you know, we were ready to get that shit in, like get some video. But um, it started raining on the drive there. No games going on today. So now, so now instead, we're about to go to Damatha. We have some of these games going on tonight. After we get some film from the math, guess where it's to from there? Yep, last workout of the night. A little 10 p.m. late night. It's about 10.30, about to get the last workout in. Really gotta lock in and make sure we're not fatigued during this workout because it's probably the most important one. Uh, we get a lot of shooting off the dribble, stuff like that, and then we'll hoop a little bit. Um, so yeah, we gotta make the last one as, as good as the first one. Knock out the end of the day, get some rest. Tonight we got a group okay, workout and hoop sets going on. It's been way too long, man. That's like I filled this up like two times already. These group workouts get really fun for everybody. All different types of players, different schools, different ages. But everyone's working. And there was great energy in there tonight. Is that the side I go to? Then we hoop, let everyone apply those skills, get competitive and get that game-like condition. And we go in here till late, pretty much till everyone's gassed and ready to go home. Yeah, that's a wrap. Every day is way different, but it's also strategized really carefully. Whether it'll pay off or not, we'll see. But regardless, we won't stop chasing that vision.